let's look at a quick tutorial about GDB. So uh, first, let's look at program. So this creates factorial just using a slow recursive mechanism, but that's fine. It's just going to print the factorial of five. Uh, this is just useful so we can have something to debug. So the way that you can use um, um, debugging is by using the G flag to GCC. So the G for debug um, adds debugging information. So I'm going to compile factorial.c, it'll assemble it, and then we'll link it into the program factorial. And just so I look, so if we look at the sizes, notice factorial is 21616. If I compile it without debugging symbols, then it's a little bit smaller. So there's not that much overhead there. Let's add the debugging symbols. And now I run GDB on it. So that will uh, read the symbols from that factorial file so it knows the symbols like fact and main and i and all those things. Okay. And what I can do is run it. But if I run it, it runs it and then it's done because it runs to completion. Okay, prints out the 120. So what I want to do instead is set a breakpoint first. So let me first just list. I can list, I can give a function. So like list main or I can list fact. Uh, and I can set a breakpoint if I want at a line number. So I can either just give a line number and it means the current file, or I can give a file name and then a line number. And I'm going to break then at line five. And now I can run and it'll start the program running. So I can either do R or run. Actually, probably the best thing in those about is help. So there's a bunch of different kinds of commands. If I want to look at running things, help running tells me that I can I'm hitting return here, just a second. I can do a continue to continue this program being debugged, or let me hit return. Or I can run to start a debugged program. Okay, I'm gonna hit Q and return to get that. All right, so that means I'll do a run. And now I'm running and I'm stopped at uh, five. Let me run continue. So I can type C-O-N-T or anything that is enough to make it unambiguous. So C will do a continue. And in fact, just hitting return will run the last command. So now I'm, notice I'm at factorial, but I is three. So if in fact, if I look at a backtrace, I see that I was in main, main called factorial of I of five, it called factorial of I of four, it called factorial of I of three. So if I print something, for instance, if I print I, I can see that in fact, yes, I is three. Okay. And what can I do now? I can always L to list. Um, and let's say I do a next to run the next command, the next line. So step steps into a function call and next steps over function calls. So if I do a step here, I'm going to enter now with a fact of two. And if I do a next and a next, this next is going to go ahead and return Uh, that's what I expected it to happen. So now I come back and I'm going to need, continue to come. So um, that allows me to single step basically and print stuff out, which is, is, is quite handy. What else might I want to do? Uh, I can delete a breakpoint. So I can delete, for instance, breakpoint one. And I can also look at things. I can look at a assembly language with layout or I can actually look at split, which gives me a split layout. So here I can use the up arrow and actually go up and down. Um, the highlighted one here is the line that I'm about to execute. And then I can go and get some context around that. I can do a focus next, which will change which uh, which one of these little panes has the focus. So now the focus is set to the command window. Let me go focus next again, and now I'm in the source window. And notice how I, when I scroll up and down to the source, it does go ahead and scroll the assembly with it. So if I type, let's say, instead of doing a next, which steps over 
source level instructions, I can do a next I, which steps over assembly instructions. And so notice here I'm doing a multiplication. Um, so what if I want to see what is RAX? Well, I can print dollar sign RAX. You can see, oh, that's two. Okay, what's RBP? All right. Um, I don't think I can do, I can't do assembly like this. So that doesn't work. Um, but I can go ahead and look at memory if I can want. So I can, uh, X means examine memory. The slash, if I'm going to display five values starting with, uh, starting with, let's say this value. And so that shows me those five 32-bit hexadecimal values. So again, I can still do, let's say, SI, SI, SI. I can just keep hitting return and moving right through. But if I go ahead and do an S instead, it's moving a similar language instruction, sorry, source level instruction by source level instruction. That is the very brief introduction to uh, GDB, but make sure you do keep in mind there was also, uh, I can get info about registers, and that'll print all the useful registers. Um, I can do a layout that shows registers. And so then I'm getting a single language instructions and getting to see the registers at the same time. So the, the most useful layouts are layout sem, layout split, and layout um, registers sem and split. And then to get out of GDB, you just do exit or a control D. And if your program that is being debugged is still running in Alaska, you want to quit that. That's the preliminaries of GDB.